חיכו ממתקים וכולו מעמדים. As a matter of fact, recently there is a rabbi, chief rabbi in Israel, mm-hmm. who have studied Islam. Yes. And now he went back to the original scripts of the Torah. Yes. And he found out that indeed Muhammad is the last and the seal of the prophets. And he's the one who's going to come at the end. As a matter of fact, there is, if you Google somewhere on the internet, you find out many of the Jews, when they go to the Wailing Wall, they say, Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. In reading the English translation of Song of Songs 516, it finishes the description by saying, He is altogether lovely but what most people don't know is that the name of that man was given in the original Mejilat. Here is verse 16 and how it is written in ancient Hebrew before introducing the vowels in the 8th century. From the Hebrew Bible on scripturetext.com Here is the word in question. This word is made of four letters. Mem Het Mem Dalet Now when reading the word as it is written in its original form, with no vowels, it can be read as Muhammad, which is the name of the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad with no A after the H. According to Ben Yehuda's Hebrew-English Dictionary, it is correctly pronounced as Muhammad, not Mamad. So how we're going to know for sure? If it's pronounced as Muhammad, the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad, a random Hebrew word, the only way is to give the verse to a rabbi, and say to him please read. Here is the Song of Songs 516, and how it is read by a rabbi from a Hebrew Jewish site. Please notice, the im in Hebrew, is a plural of respect. <laughs> זה דודי וזה רעי בנות ירושלים, חיכו ממתקים וכולו מחמד, 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 מחמד דין. מחמד, מחמד. Why would they be saying that? Because it is in their script and they know it without knowing what they're talking about. Uh-huh. But he became a Muslim and he exposed the corruption that happened to the Torah. You see, the, people do not realize that God has created us in the most wonderful way. That we can use our brain to think. And if we think properly, we're going to be led to the truth. Properly, yeah. And anyone who's really honest to themselves and want to find out the truth, they will find the truth. And the truth will be that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and the seal of the prophets. And Islam is the way of life. And God have made it responsibility on him to protect that Quran from being altered or corrupted. And the fact is, there is millions, if not hundreds of millions of Muslims who memorize the Quran from one, from the beginning to the end, not only memorize it as words, but they memorize it the way that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uttered 1400 years ago. Yeah. That by itself convinced all the world that there is only one Quran, and it's not only one Quran, written Quran, it is pronounced the same way as it has been pronounced by Prophet Muhammad Wasallam and the companions at that time 1400 years ago. So, really and truly, if you want the best, look in Islam.